Hi everyone, I'm Beth with 50 Plus Beauty and I'm excited to have you drop by today because a lot of you have been requesting the makeup that I've been wearing in most of my videos lately. I don't often choose my makeup because I find a makeup look that I like and I tend to stick with it. And before I get into it, and I'll be showing you the whole Get Ready With Me tutorial on all the products that I'm using on my face lately in terms of my makeup. But before I do that, I'd like to show you my outfit for the day. And this is one of my favorite sweaters ever. Got it from Amazon, have had it more like a year and a half, somewhere in there, and it's come through the wash numerous times. It's really cute. It's nice because it's that longer length that covers up all the kind of bigger real estate. And then all of the jewelry I have on is also from Amazon. Particularly love this two-tone watch with the crystal bezel. Okay, let's get into this, and I'll move in so you can see what we have going here which is a totally bare face. I did use my sunscreen and lately I've been loving this Dermatology Physical Tinted Moisturizer SPF 44. Um, 44, that's kind of odd, not 45. So I've got that on my skin and I've been using the Benefit Professional and I'll go ahead and apply that. This is a tinted primer which kind of helps null out your pores. It kind of gives you a nice matte finish to start your foundation and I think it really does help your foundation go on better and stay on better. There's that. I'll just go ahead and smooth that in with my hands. Sometimes I think it's nice to use your hands instead of a brush because your hands have some nice warmth to them and it helps everything kind of meld into your skin a little bit better. And as you can see, that kind of lightens up my skin tone a little bit. And I, I do like that because I tend to have some ruddiness on my skin and I've noticed that that Benefit Professional just lightens everything up, kind of nulls out the redness somewhat. Really, really like that, having camera problems there. Okay, and I'll move in a little bit closer so you can really see everything that I'm doing here. Okay, now I already do have my eyebrows done. My eyebrows are kind of constantly not very good. I don't have good eyebrows. They have a lot of grays in them and they are thin, especially in the tail area. However, I've been using the, what is it, Revitalash Pro, or yeah, it's called Revita, Revita Brow. That's what it's called, Revita Brow. And it has been helping my tails grow in a little more, which is great. And I will be using my favorite brush set, which is the Angie brush set right here. And here is her concealer brush, which is an A506. And I'll use that just to kind of smooth in that eyeshadow primer. And I've really been liking this eyeshadow primer. I was using the Milani eyeshadow primer, which is a lot cheaper, but I noticed that every night, I guess it was such a good primer that it was keeping my eyeshadow on in this area. And I almost had to like take a bulldozer to wash that eyeshadow off my skin. So I thought maybe that primer was a little too good. So I've gone back to the Urban Decay eyeshadow primer potion, which I've used for years and I really love. Okay, oh, <laughs> real quick before I get in here, Gonna try my Joe Malone, little spritz of my Joe Malone Wild Blue Barrel. Wild Blue Bell, I can't say it. Yummy, love that. And they say the smell of fresh flowers just actually perks up your mood. It increases your dopamine and your serotonin. And I think in my case, that is really true. Okay, now before I get into my face makeup, I'm going to go ahead and use a little of this City Beauty Lip Plumper in Clear. And I've been doing that for the past month or so because I really think that it helps pump up my lips just a little bit. Feels a nice little bit of tingle is how it feels. And so we'll just let that settle in. Then I'll go over that with my lip color when I get there. Okay, now the first thing I always do is my eyes. And I've been loving this Tarte Clay Play Volume 2. And I'll go ahead and take the Angie Flat Eyeshadow Brush, which is the A501. And I'll just start with a little of this color. It's been a long time since I've done this. I'm a little bit awkward at it, but I'll use that little tannish color. Whoa. And that will end up being my under brow color. Put it in the, the black corners there. There we go. I'll get a little more. Tap off the brush. I love these Angie of Hot and Flashy brushes. She sold like a million dollars worth. I mean, it's amazing maybe even a million sets, I don't know, but a lot of them. She sold a lot of them and it couldn't happen to a nicer YouTuber. I think Angie is wonderful and I really trust pretty much everything she shares. Okay, there is the base color. Now let's go ahead and go in. I guess I'll go ahead and use the same brush 
and I'll use a little bit of this shimmery color right here and just kind of put it in there and it's it's a nice shimmer it's a nice cream color but it is not crazy shimmery it's not glittery I wouldn't say it's just a nice little mild shimmer and I just I, I just can't stop using a little bit of shimmer on my lids because I think it does open up your eyes kind of brighten things up and I absolutely love this palette and maybe I'll even use the blush in this palette I don't know I've got another one down here I haven't been using that but it is a good blush so that makes it nice now I'm using the A502 to put a little bit of this color in the outer corner yes you can tell that one's getting worn down because that's the color I I mostly use from this palette in terms of a crease color love it but there's several really good neutral crease colors in this palette kind of like that there we go I think this is a very very natural crease color it looks just like a shadow which is what what it's supposed to look like although in under these lights it's looking a little bit a little bit light brown because in real life it really does show very very well go back in here again very very pretty color is that dark enough I don't know this is dangerous but I think I'm going to go in with a slightly darker color too I'll go in with this stone color right here which is just a little bit darker put that in the outer corner here and a little bit up into that line just a little bit sometimes when I start looking into these lights in the mirror I end up overdoing my makeup so I got to be really careful not to do that the lights do kind of bleach out the color I don't want to end up looking like Elvira at the end of this because I do have some running around to do today so I want this to be a pretty nice neutral makeup okay next I'm going to be using my only non Angie brush and this is the Sigma pencil brush and I think I'll go in with this slightly darker color because things are looking a little muted out in the lighting here just take that under there to give myself a little bit of a, a lower lash line there we go okay next I'm going to be taking the Angie 503 and this is just a little eyeshadow blender brush just to blend in the top of that crease make it look nice and seamless okay that's the eyeshadow now I'll go off camera and add the eyeliner and mascara okay the mascara is done and I use the Stila Maxim XX mascara absolutely love this brand of mascara wonderful and I use this little shishado lash comb I think it is it's a curved lash comb to kind of clean out the clumps really like that and my eyeliner is the pure on point eyeliner in the color down to earth I think and I love this it goes on very smoothly I love the brown color very nice liner okay let's get on with the foundation and I've been loving this Dior backstage foundation in the color 1.5 in it is a beautiful matte foundation it's kind of dewy though and I go ahead and put a little on the back of my hand here just a little bit like that and I've really been liking this City Beauty skin lifting booster what it is it's just a few drops that you use in your foundation before you put it on I just put I'll just do two drops there whoa and basically what it does is it seems to give your skin just a little bit of a firm lift to it you tell me if you think it does but basically I guess I'll start over here and just put the foundation on here and we'll see if it gives me a little bit of a lifting boost I don't know I feel like it does it's anybody's guess but I do feel like it slightly firms my skin I love these City Beauty products because they tend to show a little something it's not just like they say skin lifting it really kind of does I'll put it down on my neck to try to get rid of some of this turkey waddle down here I'll put a little on my forehead here but I think that foundation is absolutely lovely and Angie of hot and flashy liked a different Dior foundation she loved it but I tried it and I sent it back it did not work for me maybe because my skin is a little bit on the oily side but look how beautiful that foundation applies absolutely lovely it is a medium foundation but it is buildable and I use a little bit more in the nose area and the chin area that kind of thing really really pretty foundation 
Now I have very dark circles on the inner corners of my nose and down here under my eyes. And I also have a big vein that is under here. And I've been loving this Pixie by Petra Peach Corrector. And it just comes in a little pot like that. And I just take my Angie concealer brush, dip that in. And then I mostly try to null out that little vein there. And as you can see, it did. Peach correctors really are good at getting rid of the black. And I have a lot of black. I don't know if most people have as much black on their face as I do. But look how much better that eye looks than that. I'll go ahead and try it on the other side here. And I do have a bag down there. This is very good for dark colored bags because it just kind of brings them forward a little bit. Now, I still have the dark beside my nose, and I'll show you how this works. I think this is $12, and I've had it for more than a year, and I use it every single time I make up. It's absolutely a beautiful product. Very, very pretty. Okay, now I'm going to go in with a little concealer, and this is the Revolution Makeup Eye Bright, is what it's called. And it has a little sponge head there, and you just roll it up. And I'm almost out of this. I need to get a little bit more. But I put it again in all the dark areas around my nose. I've got some areas that are dark. And right here I have a little chin divot that I've had for years. And now let me find, oh, here's my Angie concealer. And I just go in and kind of blot that in very, very quickly. But as you can see, it's just a beautiful concealer that does conceal pretty much everything. And I'll put the color down below in the description below the video. I put all of the links to all of the makeup down below the video. Okay, there we are. And I'm going to set it today with a setting powder. And actually this is a pressed powder, but I've been using it as a setting powder and I really like it. This is the Physicians Formula Better Believe It Face Powder. And look at that, very, very interesting. It has a gradation of color there. I'll just take my big BK Beauty brush. This is the 103 powder brush. And I'll just start in the middle. And see, it's just nulling everything out very nicely. It's just setting that foundation, setting that concealer. Put a little down on the neck. Try to blend in those neck wrinkles. Okay, now we're ready for blush. And I've been absolutely loving this Kevin Aquan blush. It is a Neo blush, it's called, in the color Pink Sand. And look at that. It has an absolutely beautiful gradation of color. And I'll go ahead and take my Angie blush brush. And it has that beautiful little triangular shaped head. And I'll just go ahead and bring it along there. And I'll just kind of pat it up above the cheekbone, just slightly above the cheekbone, and then slightly buff it down. Beautiful, beautiful blush. This color looks so much to me like a little child's blushing cheeks after coming in from out of the cold. Isn't that just beautiful? It has a little bit of an iridescence to it, not bad at all, but I think the little bit of brown in the end just helps to blend it into your skin tone and just give it that beautiful natural look. Now, next I'm going to go in and add some cheekbones. And I love this Charlotte Tilbury Nude Gasm Palette. And here we are, that is what that looks like. Let me find a brush here, where is it? Okay, here we go. I'll be using the BK Beauty 108, and I'll just go ahead and take some of that bronzer and put it underneath the cheekbone there. Very good, do the other side. Going to pull in my, suck in my cheeks a little bit. Then I'll put it on the side of my nose. Narrow down that nose a little bit. Then I'll go along, along the jawline. I'm starting to get some jowls, which is really bothering me. But I really don't want a facelift. So I'm doing everything I can to keep them from getting worse. They're not too bad. When you're in your mid-60s, you have to expect some of those little signs of age to creep up for sure. And that's okay, we're alive and kicking, which is a good thing. Okay, now the next thing I like to do is, I don't like to wear chocolate bars and it's a little bit of a chocolate bar there and there. So this is not BK Beauty and I wish they would come up with a brush like this. This is the Real Techniques Sculpting Brush and basically I always use it just to blend in anything brown on my face basically. There we go, there we go and it does keep me from embarrassing myself by wearing chocolate bars. Okay, next I'm going into lipstick and my lips are all nice and plumped from that BK Beauty Lip Plumper. They're still feeling a bit tingly and I'll just go in here with a little bit of one of my favorite lipsticks. This is the MAC Cream Lipstick in the color You Wouldn't Get It. And it's just a little rosy nude. I try more rose than nude. But I'm tired of dead looking nudes. I really like lipstick that livens up your face. And this color really does. 
So there is that color. And I think it is the perfect rosy nude color. Now let's go in with a little sweet pea. I love this. This is a BK Beauty lip liner product. It's their everlasting lip liner. And I don't want a hugely outlined look. I just kind of want to take it and fill in the outside of my lip line. I have some areas of my lip line that have kind of faded away. Right in here especially. And then I'll go down here. And this is more of a nude nude color, so you see a little bit of that lip line. Then I'm going in with my absolute favorite gloss, and this is the Maybelline Lifter Gloss in the color Crystal. And it looks extremely ugly, as you can tell. This is the second tube I've gotten, but I do love it. In fact, I carry this lipstick, the lip liner, and the gloss in my purse at all times. Okay, that is a look at my everyday makeup that I've been wearing for probably the last three months, and you've been seeing it in almost every video. Really, really do like it. And if you're still with me, I hope you'll give this video a thumbs up and or subscribe to my channel. Okay, at this point in the video, I always like to give you a little thought for the day. And today I won't be reading through any cards. In fact, I ordered a card deck about cognitive behavioral therapy and it was terrible and I had to send it back. So I just thought of a good tip I could give you if you suffer from a little bit of mild depression or if you're just having a down day. And that is the phrase cognitive behavioral therapy means you're using your mind, your cognition, and or your behavior to change your mood. It's very simple. Mind plus behavior changes your mood. And a lot of people in CBT or cognitive behavioral therapy think, oh, it's just change your thoughts. If you're thinking down, if you're thinking a down thought, change it to a thought of gratitude, something like that. And sometimes that is hard to do. Sometimes you need to kickstart your body into action by getting into action. And one of the best things you can do when you're feeling a little depressed is to have a to-do list and check those items off because it actually gives us a little bit of a lift of serotonin and endorphins whenever we check off one of those to-do list items. And something that you can always do and something that I do a lot is to clean out a drawer. Yes, whenever I'm feeling a little bit down and I think, oh gosh, I don't feel like doing anything, I know that's the time I should not sit down on the couch and give in to the lethargy. That's the time that I should get up and do something. And in my house, we have a zillion drawers and there's always one that needs cleaning. And if you do one every day, it is surprising, but in no time at all, you will get through your whole house and nothing feels better than when your house looks good on the outside and good on the inside in terms of those clean drawers. And almost immediately after you finish cleaning that first drawer, you'll feel better too. Take care and I'll see you in my next video.